What up, YouTube? This is Chevy Brother coming at you with an update video on the Ghost of F Bomb. Yeah, I know it's been a little while since I've been on here. Um, I just basically been taking it easy, trying to get the truck dialed in a little more. Uh, been working on the body a little bit, you know, trying to get it looking better. Um, if you guys remember, you've seen in my previous videos, um, this is a brand new uh, Proline body I bought. Uh, it's a Silverado body for a Stampede. Uh, I custom made my own body mounts. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, I painted it blue. Um, I used the wrong paint, and the paint flaked off. So what I tried to do was use a brake fluid method uh, to take the paint off and it actually ruined the body because when I tried to clean the brake fluid off because the body was so greasy, uh, I used brake clean and it ate, you know, through the plastic. So what I was doing, I was doing some research, I was on YouTube just tooling around one day and I was watching Dr. Kleptic Heart videos. Uh, I was watching his video and he actually has a Silverado like this and uh, he, he has that actually on a nitro stampede I believe it is. And uh, he used Duplicolor interior paint for dashboards and seats on his body. And I was like, okay, well, you know, it looked pretty cool on his, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So I went over to my local local auto parts store, uh, found a Duplicolor paint. Uh, this is actually flat black. Uh, the can was $7.99. Uh, you know, when you use it, make sure you shake it up real well. Uh, I would recommend using a spray handle for a spray paint can because if you use your finger, uh, you're going to get splotches in your paint and it's not going to be even. Uh, when you paint the body, you want to paint side to side like an automotive sprayer. You know, hold your spray can about eh, about that far away. You know, just give it even light coats. You don't want to, you know, just glom your paint on because you're going to have, you know, drip marks and runs and whatnot. You know, if you got to make a couple coats on there, so be it. But just take your time and it'll look better. If you rush through it, it's going to look like crap. But anyway, on to the truck. Uh, I resprayed the body again because the first time I painted it, I wasn't too happy with it. So um, I put a couple more coats on there. Uh, it's still a little splotchy over here because the plastic on the body was ruined from the brake clean that I used. But you know, again, a body that was almost junk to this, I'm pretty, I'm not too, too upset about it. Uh, got a little bit of road rash on here. Uh, we slid on our roof. But other than that, uh, this duper color interior paint is pretty durable. Uh, I went down to my local auto parts store, O'Reilly's, or either you can go to uh, AutoZone and pick up the can, $7.99. Um, if you're looking for other colors besides what they have in the store, go on Duplicolor's website. They have a whole gamut of colors that you guys can use. Flat black, uh, flat paint, they even have gloss paint. So yeah, so give Duplicolor's website a check a check out. And, uh, you know, you guys can come up with some cool paint schemes and take them out, bash them, flog them. And the paint won't chip off like RC paint. All right. Now moving on to the truck here, uh, let me get it back in focus here. Um, we just came in from a run. Um, I'm still running these Anaconda tires. Uh, these back tires are bald, as you well see. Um, both of them still have holes in them. Uh, they don't hook pretty well on the street. I mean, this thing still slides all over the street and dances and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and crack the hood and show you guys some stuff here. Just came in from a run. Um, yeah. We're still cracking 40, and we're holding 40 consistently, y'all. And I'm doing it on a 7-cell NIM battery. That's it. That's all. No smoke, no mirrors. Just this raggedy battery. My, my Dynamite Taser, Dynamite Hobbies, Taser 3300KV. Uh, my Taser ESC. You know, my special blend of gears. They're 48 pitch, but I'm not going to tell you what the ratio is. But yes, guys, you can go fast on NIM batteries and 48 pitch gears. You don't have to go with Mod 1s and all that stuff and, you know, LiPo batteries and all that. Nope. The main reason why I'm building a speed car to run on NIM batteries is to prove the theory that you can go fast on a NIM battery on a budget. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to hit speed, as you well see. And I'm working, I'm building another car, but I'm not going to tell you what it is or anything, but this is going to be nothing compared to what the next car is going to be. Okay, another piece of information I want to give you guys. I was looking on eBay. Oh, actually, <laughs> let me back up a second. My last video, um, I had problems with my antenna on my receiver here. Um, that little metal tip came off. So basically, my truck was useless. I couldn't drive it, couldn't do anything. I had no reception at all. So what I did, I was tooling around on eBay, looking around, and, you know, I'm on a budget. So I was trying to find a remote and a receiver pocket-friendly, which, you know, there's some out there that are. But when you're looking at the TQIs, these TQs, and all those different remotes, and the ones with the docking base on there for the telemetry, uh, those can be kind of pricey. So what I did, I found an alternative that works just well. Check it out. Uh, this setup is actually out of the 18 scale Latrex Teton rally car, I believe it's, it is, but I know it's a Latrex Teton. Um, 
I got this set up here. Um, well, it didn't come with the traction sticker on the back. I put that on there. But um, I got this off of eBay with the receiver, with a pack of batteries, and this remote, $35 shipped to my door. <laughs> That's an awesome deal. Um, the thing I want to tell you guys about the uh, the Teton or the Latrax receiver, Latrax and Traxxas are both the same remotes. I mean, if you look dead at this thing, I mean, come on. It's a Traxxas remote. All it's got is this silly little sticker at the top. That's it. Everything else is the same. I mean, you can look at it and see. Look, Traxxas on the back, everything. Nothing different. Okay, this is also a 2.4 gigahertz remote. Uh, you got your steering trim right here. That's still adjustable. Still got your set button at the top. Um, now, going on to this receiver here, uh, and you well notice if you look at the receiver box, I have no antenna at all. Um, the receiver, when you get the receiver box, it's the same size as the other, the TQ uh, receiver box and a TQI. Uh, this is actually a two channel receiver, what they call it. It has a little nubby remote, not a remote, uh, damn, or the antenna. The antenna is real nubby on this thing. It's about that long. Actually, that's a plus when you're using a basher or a speed run car um, because you don't want that stupid hokey antenna that's about this tall sticking out of the roof of your car. You do a roof slide like I did and ruin your receiver. Then you can't drive your car. So when you have that nubby antenna, I actually tuck my antenna inside this box. Took it off. I've been running this thing for about three days and uh, I've been getting good range, good reception, no hiccups, no nothing. It's been working awesome. So I just want, want to give you guys that tip. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys are out there that have receiver issues like I have. Go out and get yourself a Latrex Teton setup uh, for the receiver, the remote. I mean, hey, it's a cheap alternative. It works the same. It'll get your car back on the street, pennies on the dollar. And that's all I got for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep our seeing, keep wrenching. Peace.